see in the UK, you all need to set a lot for gov.uk website. Like you have to be on top of it. You have to be able to ensure that you're following all updates, you're reading up all updates because you can miss it within a twinkle of an eye things can change literally so guys on today's episode of yeti splash we're going to be looking at what happens to a student that fail is our studies or is our course will they still be eligible to switch to another kind of visa in the uk if yes can they switch to a skilled worker visa can they switch to a post-study work visa that is what we're going to be looking at on today's episode of yeti splash so don't go anywhere <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Yeti and on this channel I share information about relocating, living abroad, thriving, literally and just keeping you updated. I'm not an immigration lawyer but I am a Nigerian lawyer and I use my knowledge of the law to interpret things and also give my own opinion. So this page is totally my opinion, it does not constitute legal advice, it's just for you to do whatever you want to do with the information, you know. So please do well to like, share, subscribe. You definitely, definitely find valuable information on this page. So on today's episode of Yeti's Love, I'm going to be talking about a controversial topic. So like, what is the fate of a student that fails his or her course in the United Kingdom? Are they going to leave? Would they be able to switch? And what would happen if such students have dependents? Can they switch? Can they become a dependent to their dependent? Like, that is all we're going to be looking at in today's video. So there are three things I need to clarify first. Prior to now, international students they don't need to necessarily complete their course in fact some of them will just come into the uk they use it as a pathway to just come into the uk and then switch to a skilled worker visa immediately because we all know that the student visa is one of the easiest visa to get they started abusing it a lot of people just use that student visa to come in and ultimately then switch to a skilled worker visa and then university started raising alarm like students are not completing their course they're not paying tuition they're just you know switching visas in the united kingdom so part of the reformation that the uk government brought to this one and also part of their ongoing plans to reduce net migration was to put a stop to switching of visas without completing their course so from july 2023 the uk government made it clear that until you have completed your course you can no longer switch visas right where there is now a gray area is what will happen to students that have failed their course okay i need to clarify that First, it depends on the kind of visa you're switching to. So if you have failed your studies, even before the immigration, you know, palava started, if you have failed your course, you cannot switch to a post-study work visa. One of the requirements of a post-study work visa, which is the two years international students are entitled to after finishing their course, is that you must pass your course in which you've been issued a CAS. Fail, you won't be able to switch your post-study work visa. Before I continue with the video, I need to quickly tell you about AMBAS students. If you're a student in the United Kingdom or you're a student in Australia and you've been finding it difficult to secure accommodation, or you are a prospective student, meaning you're coming to study in the UK or you're coming to study in Australia, Australia, then I've got good news for you. You do not have to stress about accommodation anymore because AMBA Student is there for you. Yes, AMBA Student is an accommodation platform for students across, you know, major cities in the UK and as well as Australia. So if you're coming to study in the UK, then you don't have to bother about your accommodation. They are very quick. Processing and booking of your accommodation is quite easy. So you are going to save yourself the stress of coming into the UK and the UK landlord are asking you for ridiculous documents like, oh, where's your pay slip? Even when they know that you just relocated to the country or where is this, where is that? Bring a guarantor, you know, all those ridiculous questions. You do not have to go through that hassle and stress anymore if you're booking with AMBA students. So I'm going to put their link in the description box. You just have to click the link and sign up with them, okay? And it's not just because their services are easy is because their fee is also quite affordable when compared to other prices and the fact that you don't even have to have your visa before you book it so as long as you have an offer that you're coming to the uk or australia to study you can then get in touch with amber student and book your desired accommodation home. and guys kai they have classy beautiful accommodation that every student would definitely want to live in like their accommodation also is that top notch like world-class standard so what are you waiting for get in touch with the amber student team using the link in my bio and they will help you and another amazing thing about amber students is the 24 hours personalized service meaning if you're stuck at any point in time you can always reach a customer care representative like as i'm talking to you now i'm filming this video at night if i really need help from Amber student, I will definitely get instant support at any time. So their customer service is available 24 seven. Okay, let's get back into the video. Now the situation is what will happen if a student fails their course? 
will such students be able to you know switch to another kind of visa we've already established that they cannot even switch to a post study work visa that is not an option so we are looking at what other options do they have that is true and then what happens if some student wants to be a dependent under their main dependence if they're in the uk with a dependent who has then switched to become an applicant what can they do so let's look at this so for, for scenario one i'm going to show you on the screen now a student visa refusal letter she tried switching her course before completion and this is what she got from the home office let's take a look sw 1.5a states that an applicant who is applying for permission to stay and as all last add permission as a student must fulfill one of the conditions a b or c on the date of the application so a condition a the applicant must have completed the course of study for which the confirmation of acceptance for studies was assigned that is you must have completed the course in which they granted you CAS. right condition b the applicant must be studying a full-time course of study at degree level or above with a higher education provider with a track record of compliance and Two, the certificate of sponsorship in SW12D must have a start date no earlier than the course completion date. So if you're finishing your studies in, let's say, March 2024, you cannot apply to switch your visa until your school worker visa cannot start by February 2024. But what I've read is crystal clear. It states clearly that unless you have completed your course, right? you cannot switch but what this particular paragraph failed to address was what if you failed there's some people that they fail they do receipt and then they get a certificate there are some people that they will fail for example you apply for a master's you will fail and then your school will give you a post graduate degree certificate instead like a pgd degree which is lesser than a master's that you have applied for so will those set of people be able to switch their visa or what to find out this we're now going to read and not that provision like a QA provision of the uk government on their website to also be able to further you know clarify this because you have to start from the end of your course date which is march 2024 hypothetically right document is titled student reforms dependence and switching q and apdf straight from the home office right they use things like this to just further clarify so at what changes are being made to the rules on switching? Students will no longer be able to switch out of the student's route until they have completed their course, just like we just read, right? So that one is clear. Then it further states that case workers will check the course completion date entered on the course. Students do not need to have received their final award as long as they have not had their sponsorship withdrawn prior to the course end date. So it's two things. The caseworker is going to check the date on your cast. So if your cast said that your course end date is like March 2024, then if you're applying earlier to March 2024, you will not get the visa. That is one. Then they now went further to say that students do not need to have received their final award. We all know that sometimes your course end date can be March 2024, but you will now get your results in July 2024. So they are saying that you don't need to wait till July 2024 to get your result before you switch your visa. They are now telling us that mm, you don't need to get your final award. Meaning you don't. That means you don't even need to know whether you pass your course or you failed. Do you understand? So that means even if you fail your course, there is the possibility that you might still be able to switch to a skilled worker visa as long as you have a COS to switch. Does that make any sense? Because they clearly state that you don't need your final award. And you, some people might not even know if they pass or fail until after they have received their final award or after marking has been done. So the only thing that is important is your course completion date. The date in which you finish your course. So whether you pass or not, because I might finish my course today and the results will not even come out until my, like maybe three weeks after. So that means if you're saying I can apply now, it doesn't matter whether I pass my course or not. But as long as... I already have my completion date then i am able to switch they also for that stated that students do not need to have received their final award as long as they have not had their sponsorship withdrawn prior to the course end date so as long as you have a valid visa whether you pass or not was not mentioned once you have completed your course and the school did not withdraw your course and your visa is still valid then you can switch so it means that 
it is not necessarily material whether you pass your studies or not so even if you fail you might be able to switch but you can only switch to a skilled worker visa not the post-study work visa because the law on that is clear you cannot switch to a post-study work visa unless you have successfully completed your studies and then your university will even have to write to the home office to say that you have graduated you are cleared and then you can then apply for your post-study work visa. So for those that don't understand, post-study work visa is a graduate route kind of visa, which every international student is entitled to after you finish your course. So if you're doing a master's, you're entitled to two years post-study work visa. This allows you to sort of like self-sponsor yourself to remain in the UK. You will not require sponsorship to remain. Once you just apply for post-study work visa, it's like an automatic visa as long as you have studied in the UK and you have passed your course, okay? But skilled worker visa is not automatic you require sponsorship so you must find a company that is willing to sponsor you to then stay in the uk so that's the difference between the two can a student switch into skilled worker route if the course is completed early they said yes where the student has completed their course early it is the student sponsor's responsibility to report early completion to uk via the sponsorship management system within 10 days so if you finish your course early just let your school know and then they can notify UKVI and then you can apply because if you don't do that if they don't notify the home office your application could be rejected but guys most people do ask when a student fail their course and they have a dependent that has successfully switched to like a skilled worker visa would they be able to switch to this dependent visa so from all i've read now from all indication it appears that it's possible so if a student has failed his or her course uh, but that student has a dependent that has switched to like a skilled worker visa you can be that dependent dependent now on their new visa if you understand like because they will then become the main applicant and you can switch to become their dependent but however if you have not completed your studies meaning you want to then switch visa before completing your studies you would have to return back to your own country nigeria or maybe you're already in the uk your visa was revoked if you want to submit because you didn't pay your school fees or things like that you will most likely have to return back because you didn't complete your studies and your visa was revoked you cannot become a dependent under your dependence anymore no you have to return back to your own country and then reapply to become a dependent to your own dependent who is now then the main applicant i hope this is very clear enough we have come to the end of today's video don't forget to like share subscribe and i still remain your one and only baby girl yeti please do stay blessed